In this daily dose of public speaking wisdom, you're going to pick up a key element of storytelling that is an emotional shift for the audience and creates a deeper connection with them. In tip 249 of this series, you heard about the memorable moment. That was the instant where the hero just had a, a change of, of perspective or saw the world differently. And that leads to the change in the new life. In this tip, we're going to take that concept one step deeper and talk about the emotional shift. That's where you can display or portray the internal feelings of the hero, often without saying a word so that you know that they have, have gained insight or they've changed the way they think about or see the world. As an example, let's go back to a familiar story if you watch these tips, me sitting in my manager's office when I got the bad reviews about my financial planning workshops. So as you recall, I'm sitting in my manager's office. He says, we need to go over these surveys from your retirement planning workshop. My first thought is, oh, this is going to be good. I did such a great job prep, uh, preparing. I had so much energy, so much good information, great PowerPoints. Oh, I was, uh, this is going to be a good review, right? I'm expectant at that point. I know that I'm about to hear some great words. Immediately, he lets me know, this is not good. But what do you mean? Now I'm in a state of confusion. He starts to read off the reviews. Way too many PowerPoints got inundated with slides. What? A little deeper confusion. Uh, moved around too much, too much too fast, slow down, couldn't even take notes. Now I'm perplexed. And then the last one is the killer that completely creates the emotional shift. Uh, way too much information presented too fast, feel like I've been hit by a fire hose. You, you got to be kidding me. So in a few sentences from my boss or my manager, I've gone from good, I'm, I'm positively expectant to oh, shell shock. You, you gotta be kidding me, that, that, that's a disaster. I didn't have to say a word. It's my face that portrays the emotional shift and where I, I realize I'm in trouble now. I'm going to have to make a change if I'm going to save my job and be, you know, I have to become a better presenter. That's what we talk about with the emotional shift. It doesn't have to be through a lot of words. Yes, my manager was speaking, but I'm the one going through the internal shift and realizing I'm not as good as I thought, something's gonna change. As you're crafting your story, pinpoint those moments when you have that emotional shift from negative to positive or positive to negative. Those are the key moments when the audience will create a deeper bond with you because they will feel for you or they'll be excited for you. Create those moments for your audience and watch your stories and presentations transform into experiences that leave a lasting impact and inspire them to take action. Talk with you on our next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom.